Greetings to my team of 144 and all star seeds, love workers, and way showers. It is 12112019, December 11th, 2019. We are inching our way closer and closer to the 121212 portal galactic activation energetic alignment tomorrow on 1212. A lot of intense, crazy energies coming through the field. God bless you all. Keep going through and through and through until we totally break on through. Today, the Schumann was about 12 hertz, which is the 12 frequency of the 1212. Galactic activation. The We're in the seventh day of the galactic activation portals of the Mayan calendar. So we're all feeling this in many different ways. Gaia has been manifesting this through the many earthquakes. There was 111, 111, M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the past 24 hours, especially on the western side of the Ring of Fire. Multiple earthquakes around Japan. There was a cluster around Indonesia. Largest were 5.2 by Fukushima, Japan, where we had issues in the past. We had a 4.3 in Japan, 369 kilometers depth, and a 4.2, 424 kilometers depth, depth of northwest of Kuril Islands, K-U-R-I-L Islands, and that's over by Japan, north of Japan. We had... 3.2 in Alaska, 3.3 Puerto Rico, 5.0 Indonesia, 5.2 in Indonesia, 3.7, 37 in Alaska, 4.8 in Indonesia. So most of those are along the western board, western side of the Ring of Fire around the Pacific Ocean. We're having some flooding and many wildfires still in Alaska. So these energies with the waters and the fires coming in symbolizing the rising of the divine feminine, the rising of divine masculine energies, Khan and Li, the yin and yang, fully manifesting now as we're all being activated, all star seeds being activated with these higher light codes, these higher energies, these upgrades in the 12-strand crystalline DNA, the higher octave of resonance of consciousness beyond the unity consciousness. The first transmission today... Through Michael Love, Earth Alliance Update, Intel, Great Beings of Light, something powerful and majestic is happening on planet Earth. A super wave of cosmic energy has been building to an apex for some time now and is, and is headed straight for the planet. Can you feel it coming? Are you ready for something big? A major planetary shift is underway. As light forces are lining up around planet Earth at this hour in preparations for the opening of the 1212 Stargate, star seeds all around the globe are feeling energy levels rising as we move closer to the grand culmination of the event 2020. Earth frequency update over the last 48 hours, light forces deflected several powerful beams of 40 Hz 5D gamma light towards Earth for the purpose of strengthening the new earth grid. These powerful 5D cosmic beams were imprinted on the Schumann resonance graphs. Exotic particle forecasts. The Earth Alliance reports that new and rare inbound exotic cosmic particles referred to as tachyon neutrinos have been detected emanating from the galactic core and are heading this way now. This new cosmic particle dubbed X17 or X17 is fascinating because it travels at the speed of light, can shapeshift into other particles, and can pass through solid matter with no interaction. This wave of cosmic light will begin impacting Earth in the coming hours. 23% increase in cosmic radiation measure entering Earth's atmosphere recently. Coronal frequency adjustments are weakening the sun's magnetic field, allowing extra cosmic rays into Earth's solar system. Neutron monitoring stations across the planet show that cosmic rays are percentage points away from reaching the highest levels ever recorded. Planetary Earth Changes Update Earth Alliance Inbound Cosmic Pulse Track Issued for December 12th 
Cosmic particle waves of this scale can trigger large disruptions of the geosphere of planet Earth, the Earth Alliance as global, powerful magnetosphere, earthquake and volcanic disruptions are possible over the next several days, ascension symptom reports are currently elevated among the lightworker community across the Earth. Great ones, stand by for a super energetic time as the 1212 Stargate opens. The ascension of the star seeds of Earth to fifth dimensional new Earth is imminent. Let us know what ascension symptoms you may be experiencing. Take the best care of you and do all you can do to vibrate high. Know that all of these energetic changes are part of a grand positive process that is leading to a new you and to a new Earth. Great blessings and Godspeed. And on a side note, these cosmic waves or cosmic radiation are frequencies of energy, they're sound frequencies, they're light frequencies, higher octaves, that can transform and shift DNA, or what some people in the scientific community, genetic mutations, which in the lightworker community, starseed awareness, these are upgrades to the DNA, upgrading the code from the old 3D matrix of the 64 code to what we're seeing as the 12 strand 12 code in the past it was the double strand the two two of 32 each creating the 64 and many are seeing this 12 strand crystalline as the 144 code 12 by 12 of the pure light of the pure awareness and the next the full moon tomorrow december 12th at 1212 a.m 1212 a.m eastern time it's called the cold moon. At the peak, it is 12:12 Eastern time on 12:12. So many of us are preparing for this great energetic portal opening tomorrow. Just stay in your heart. Be aware. This is a very simple process of staying in that pure awareness and doing our best to live from our heart, speak from our heart, and transmit as much love and light into this realm through our intent, through our awareness, and through our willpower. From Pars Kute, get ready for the opening of the 1212 Stargate. As this powerful energetic portal opens, the light body will receive a major boost. Super high vibrational ascension energies will pour into the planet during the 1212 gateway, impacting the light bodies of 4.5 billion starseeds stationed on Earth. The 1212 portal is an energetic doorway through which intense waves of energy of a higher vibration were ushered into the planetary consciousness to further assist the joint awakening of the inhabitants of Earth. 1212 is a code portal that when we enter in resonance with it activates our Merkaba field. When this happens we are in alignment with the human heart connection to the unity consciousness. Merkaba is our light spirit body and is an energetic field that surrounds us when we are tapped into our higher state of consciousness. This energetic field forms the shape of a star tetrahedron and it is known that this formation of energy allows our light body to travel to higher dimensions. When the spinning Merkaba force field is observed around a person, they have activated the ability to travel across different dimensions. This is why the shape of the Merkaba has been referred to as a chariot or mode of transport for our light body. 1212 is the code that will activate dormant DNA strands. As we keep getting more and more intense incoming energies, the moments get closer to more portal openings, events, and alignments from December leading up to an energetic apex that will release in 2020. We have now entered a time compression as we arrive into eternity. All things are possible in this energy, and only the highest outcome can and will unfold. The high-frequency light wave that will come through the 1212 gateway will be an incredible blast of white magnetized plasma which will impact the earth and starseeds auric fields in profound new ways. The configuration of this new 5D energy is expected to provide a major DNA boost to starseeds light bodies and will be like nothing that has been experienced yet on Earth. This intense incoming wave of 1212 light is for the primary purpose of building and integrating our new crystalline light bodies. Clarity concerning who we intend to be in our new reality is one of the prime keys in building our light bodies. Our light bodies know that it creates through thought and links us to the fabric of creation. 
As we approach the 5D event horizon of 2020, our manifestation powers will increase greatly in power. At this stage, we'll be close to bringing almost anything we can imagine into our world simply by focusing on it. This is our Creator God power. With love, Pars Kute from roserambles.org and from Gaia Portal, 11 December. Restrictions are released on all levels. Uncommon partnerships are entered. The unexpected becomes expected. Light and love permeate the new arenas. And from Gerald Sinclair, the last full moon of 2019 will bring forth an energy that frees us all. 1212. As we approach the 12th of this month, December, we are also nearing the full moon that will occur on this date. This full moon will be one that ends this year in such a way that we all will be capable of growth in some of the most impossible ways. If you are an energy sensitive person, you most likely already feel things heating up right now. While these energies do not hold power over us, yet they are still quite present in more ways than you might realize. This full moon will be in Gemini and will bring forth serious changes in our lives. Whether you are ready for it or not, the full moon is one that makes us more willing to be spontaneous and will open both our minds and our mouths. Anything we've been needing to get off our minds will be coming to the surface during this time. Sharing your feelings during this time is very important and should be done as frequently as possible within reason. In regards to these energies, from Leah Whitehorse on her website, this is the last full moon of the year and the decade. The moon is in Gemini, an airy intellectual sign that seeks to categorize, connect, and gather information. Lying opposite is the sun in Sagittarius, fiery inspiration sign that is searching for a higher truth. Both signs are connected on some level with education, knowing, learning, teaching. Gemini is school, Sagittarius is a university. Gemini is facts, Sagittarius is philosophies. Gemini is a linear language, Sagittarius is a symbolic language. During this lunation, we swing between the big picture and the little picture and try to make sense of what we know. This is from awarenessact.com. And today from the Zolkin Times, yellow solar human. Solar is the name for the number nine, and its key words are intention, pulse, and realize. This is the seventh portal day in a row, another three to go after this one. The ninth day of any wave spell is potent stuff, it's high gear, life in the fast lane. Whatever your intentions are today, be discerning as you are likely to get what you want, just be sure it's what you need. Today is yellow human, which represents free will, wisdom, and influence. The yellow human is the vessel divinely designed to channel wisdom. The human is the psychic and on these days all of us can benefit from channeling wisdom. As it is a solar day, if our intentions are created from wisdom, we've intuitively received they stand a better chance of working out. And from Christina Papagiorgio, yellow solar human, kin 152, 11 December 2019, 11 12 Two zero one nine eleven three three equal eight eleven portal gate duality two partnership cooperation three holy trinity divinity joy creativity communication eight infinity abundance flow kin one five two equal eight double eight gate another very powerful double portal day a golden gate leading into the twelve twelve. 2112 window of the new time a beautiful sunny day of empowerment stepping up as a divine solar christed human day nine in the yellow sea void spell of awakening flowering new beginnings ripening opening to more light and blossoming into our highest potential today we realize ourselves as golden solar star Star beings with access to the wisdom of the ages through the stars, wind, and the waters. Tone of creation, solar tone 9, operates in spiritual realm, action, realizing, power, pulse, essence, intention. The ninth day of the wave spell is the one that gives the last push prior to manifestation. The solar phase is where we wake up to the fact that our will affects the reality we experience. So we begin pulsing, extending our intent into realization. 
visualizing what we want to manifest, and pulsing that intention from our heart. This assists us in making our dreams come true. This is potent manifestation energy today. What vision and intention are you pulsing into reality? So today we have a wonderful opportunity to accelerate our evolution as divine solar humans, realizing that we are all united in our beautiful world as children of the sun. To get your dose of pulsing rock solar codes, stand in your vision as the star seeds of the light. Today's question is how can I use my divine wisdom and pulse forth the intention to co-create a harmonious world? Divine blessings for bathing in the pulsing solar rays today. Kin 152, Yellow Solar Human, the mantra, the code for the day, I pulse in order to influence. Realizing wisdom, I seal the process of free will. With the solar tone of intention, I am guided by the power of elegance. I am a galactic activation portal. Enter me. So as we enter through these portals, the second of the four 333 activation portals tomorrow, from this moment, be very clear on your intent, what you want to see, what you want to experience, what you want to be on the new earth of infinite potential, infinite life, infinite light. It is our intent that is the most important of our thought processes. And then we use our willpower through the power of our minds, through the power of our hearts, the central channel, the central gateway, the still white magnetic light at the center of infinite life and infinite light. So let us know, divine beings of light, what you're experiencing, what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your visions, your visions for new earth. In the comments below the videos, I appreciate everyone for their support, their kind words, their beautiful light. Thank you for sharing this journey with us and our teams of divine beings and starseeds and galactic families. Leave a comment below on what you're experiencing. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel below this video. Click subscribe and the little bell. Click the bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future transmissions. I'd like to also thank everyone joining us on the mission for the Healing Retreat Center in Ecuador. I'm backed up several weeks on emails, messages. I get I have uh, multiple channels on YouTube, Facebook, multiple emails. So I'm also very limited on time, working full time, teaching daily, also a full time job, and doing a daily transmission is very time consuming. So I'm doing my best to keep up with the messages and emails, but I'm backed up several weeks. So. Please bear with us, with myself, as we navigate through these unknown energetic waves. So you can learn more about the, our Healing Retreat Center mission and sustainable community in Ecuador, South America, and the sacred foothills of our beloved Andes Mountains on Pachamama, the sacred earth in southern Ecuador. You can learn more about this on primedisclosure.com. Click Dow de Ecuador, Healing Retreat Center at the top of the page. And more will be coming out in the near future with the soul family I'm working with, our soul team, the Divine 44. We'll be meeting up uh, this Sunday to discuss more and see about um, transmitting more energy and more information to all star seeds, love workers, light workers, warriors of the light, way showers in this sacred realm that we're converting the, into the divine blueprint, the divine Eden, what we call New Earth, the Golden Age, New Eden, goes by many names. So we're feeling our way through this. We're experiencing our highest love, our highest light in this vessel, the sacred vessel, the rainbow bridge that flows through this body. Here now, the I am presence that's coming through fully now. So have a beautiful and blessed day, an amazing 1212 portal. Keep walking your path with heart and shining your light brightly into the night, beloved being of light. I love you all. Namaste.